Good morning and blessings to everybody as we gather for our prayer service. I pray that everybody is doing well as we gather. Uh, let's go ahead and begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed of for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy and bring his sheaves with him.
O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. O Christ, our defender, protect us from all those whose plans would subvert your truth through heresy and schism that as you are acknowledged in heaven and on earth as one and the same Lord, so your people gathered from all nations may serve you in unity of faith, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will, and to continue steadfast in the true faith in the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O merciful Father in heaven, you come, from you comes all rule and authority over the nations of the world for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do well. Graciously regard your servants, those who make, administer, and judge the laws of this nation, and look in mercy upon all the rulers of the earth. Grant that all who receive the sword as your servants may bear it according to your command. Enlighten and defend them, and grant them wisdom and understanding that under their peaceable governance, your people may be guarded and directed in righteousness, quietness, and unity. Protect and prolong their lives that we with them may show forth the praise of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, 
that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.